Sophie, Countess of Wessex and Forfar, is a member of the British royal family. She is married to Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex and Forfar, the youngest brother of King Charles III. She grew up in Brenchley, Kent, and later attended West Kent College, training as a secretary. She then worked in public relations, representing firms across the UK, Switzerland, and Australia before opening her own agency in 1996. She met Edward in 1987 while working for Capital Radio, they began dating in 1993. Their engagement was announced in January 1999 and they were married on 19 June at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. The couple have two children, Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James Mountbatten Windsor, Viscount Severn, who are respectively 15th and 14th in line to the British throne. In 2002, Sophie closed her business interests and began full-time work as a member of the royal family. She is the patron of over 70 charities and organizations, including Childline and the London College of Fashion. She undertakes over 200 engagements each year, including visits to schools, universities and military bases. Her charity work primarily revolves around people with disabilities, women's rights, avoidable blindness and agriculture. Early Life and Education Prince Edward was born at 8.20 p.m. on March 10, 1964 at Buckingham Palace, London, as the third son and the fourth and youngest child of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His birth was the only one witnessed by his father. He was baptized on May 2, 1964 in the private chapel at Windsor Castle. As with his three older siblings, Charles, Anne, and Andrew, a governess was appointed to look after Edward and was responsible for his early education at Buckingham Palace before he attended Collingham College, Kensington. In September 1972, he joined Heather Down School, near Ascot in Berkshire. Later, as his father and elder brothers had done before him, he moved to Gordon's Tune in northern Scotland, and was appointed head boy in his last term. Edward obtained a C grade in English and two D grades in history and politics at A level, and after leaving school spent a gap year abroad, working as a house tutor and junior master for two terms at the Wanganui Collegiate School in New Zealand. Upon his return to Britain, Edward studied at Jesus College, Cambridge, where he read history. His admission to Cambridge despite his A level results caused some controversy. Edward graduated in 1986 with a BA degree. Post-University Royal Marines Upon leaving university in 1986, Edward joined the Royal Marines, who had reportedly sponsored his tuition at Cambridge on condition of future service. He had signed on to join the Marines in September 1983. In January 1987, he dropped out of the commando course having completed one-third of the twelve-month training. Media reported that Prince Philip, who was the Captain General Royal Marines, was displeased but Prince Edward later said that his father had not put undue pressure on him to change his mind. Others stated that Philip was the most sympathetic family member toward his son's decision. Buckingham Palace said that Prince Edward's decision came after much consideration and that he was leaving with great regret but has concluded that he does not wish to make the service his long-term career. Theatre and Television After leaving the Marines, Edward opted for a career in entertainment. He commissioned the 1986 musical Cricket from Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, for his mother's 60th birthday celebration which led to a job offer at Lloyd Webber's Really Useful Theatre Company, where he worked as a production assistant on musicals such as The Phantom of the Opera, Starlight Express, and Cats. While there he met actress Ruthie Henshaw, whom he dated for three years. Edward's first foray into television production was the program The Grand Knockout Tournament, informally known as It's a Royal Knockout, on June 15, 1987, in which four teams sponsored by him, the Princess Royal and the Duke and Duchess of York competed for charity. 
The program was criticized by the media and the public, and it was later reported that the Queen was not in favor of the event, with her courtiers having advised against it. The program raised over £1,500,000 for its selected charities. Ardent Productions In 1993, Edward formed the television production company Ardent Productions. Ardent was involved in the production of a number of documentaries and dramas, but Edward was accused in the media of using his royal connections for financial gain, and the company was referred to by some industry insiders as a sad joke due to a perceived lack of professionalism in its operations. Andy Beckett, writing in The Guardian, opined that to watch Ardent's few dozen hours of broadcast output is to enter a strange kingdom where every man in Britain still wears a tie, where pieces to camera are done in cricket jumpers, where people clasp their hands behind their backs like guardsmen. Commercial breaks are filled with army recruiting advertisements. Ardent's productions were better received in the United States and a documentary Edward made about his great uncle, Edward Aiden in 1996 sold well worldwide. Nonetheless, the company reported losses every year it operated, with the exception of one when Edward did not draw a salary. An ardent two-man film crew later allegedly invaded the privacy of Edward's nephew, Prince William, in September 2001, when he was studying at the University of St. Andrews, which went against industry guidelines regarding the privacy of members of the royal family. William's father was reportedly angered by the incident. In March 2002, Edward announced that he would step down as production director and joint managing director of Arden to concentrate on his public duties and to support the Queen during her Golden Jubilee year. Arden Productions was voluntarily dissolved in June 2009, with assets reduced to just £40. Marriage and Children Edward met Sophie Rhys-Jones for the first time in 1987 when he was dating her friend. They met again at a promotion shoot for the Prince Edward Summer Challenge to raise money for charity in 1993, and the two began their relationship soon afterwards. In December 1993 and amid growing speculation about whether they were planning to marry, Edward wrote a letter to newspaper editors in which he denied any wedding plans and asked the media to respect their privacy. Edward proposed to Sophie at a holiday in the Bahamas in December 1998 and their engagement was announced on January 6, 1999. Edward proposed to Sophie with an Asprey and Gerard engagement ring worth an estimated £105,000, a two-carat oval diamond flanked by two heart-shaped gemstones set in 18-carat white gold. Their wedding took place on June 19, 1999 in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. This was a departure from the weddings of his elder brothers, which were large, formal events at Westminster Abbey or St. Paul's Cathedral, and had ended in divorce. On his wedding day, Prince Edward was created Earl of Wessex with the subsidiary title of Viscount Severn, breaking from a tradition whereby sons of the sovereign were created royal dukes. Edward's children are styled as the children of an earl, rather than as prince-ss and royal highness. However, on the wishes of the queen, he might be made Duke of Edinburgh. The title was inherited by Prince Philip's eldest son, now Charles III and merged into the crown upon Charles's succession in September 2022. Charles III will decide whether he will pass the title on to his brother. Sophie had an ectopic pregnancy in 2001. Edward and Sophie have two children, Lady Louise Mountbatten-Windsor, born prematurely on November 8, 2003 due to a sudden placental abruption, and James Mountbatten-Windsor, Viscount Severn, born on December 17, 2007. The family's country residence is Bagshot Park, their office and official London residence is at Buckingham Palace. Activities The Earl and Countess of Wessex established their foundation, the Wessex Youth Trust, in 1999, with a focus on helping supporting and advancing registered charities which provide opportunities specifically for children and young people. 
His patronages include, the British Paralympic Association, the International Real Tennis Professionals Association, the Commonwealth Games Federation, Badminton Scotland, the Tennis and Rackets Association, City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and Chorus, London Mozart Players, Haddo House Choral and Operatic Society, Northern Ballet, the Edinburgh International Festival, the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, and the Production Guild. The Earl of Wessex assumed many duties from his father, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, as the Duke reduced his commitments and retired from royal duties. Prince Edward succeeded the Duke as President of the Commonwealth Games Federation and opened the 1990 Commonwealth Games in New Zealand and the 1998 Commonwealth Games in Malaysia. He has also taken over the Duke's role in the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, attending gold award ceremonies around the world. In September 2007, the Earl visited Israel in his capacity as chair of the International Council of the Duke of Edinburgh's award to attend a number of events organized by the Israel Youth Award Program, an affiliate of the Duke of Edinburgh's award which was founded by his father to recognize adolescents and young adults for completing a series of self-improvement exercises. Edward was himself a recipient of the award's gold medal in 1986 for a 60-mile four-day trek from Blair Athol to Tome and Tool that he had planned. Edward later went on to become the chair of the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award, and has promoted its work on different occasions. Edward is also a trustee of the International Award Association, which encompasses the DAFI UK and all its other 61 national award authorities across the globe. He was also chair of its International Council and in 1999 founded the International Special Projects Group to provide a capital fund to broaden the reach of the award. In June 2011, Edward visited Baltimore to meet the students and staff of the Living Classrooms Foundation and encourage them to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh's awards program. In December 2011, the Earl and Countess of Wessex visited troops in Afghanistan. On the same trip, the royal couple visited Bahrain, and received two gifts of jewels from the Bahraini royal family and Prime Minister. Given concern about human rights abuses in Bahrain, this gift attracted controversy, with calls for the jewels to be sold, and the proceeds used for the benefit of the Bahraini people. In February and March 2012, the couple visited the Caribbean for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. The itinerary consisted of St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda. Highlights included Independence Day celebrations in St. Lucia, addressing Senate and Assembly of Barbados jointly and a visit to sites affected by the volcanic eruptions in Montserrat. In 2013, the couple visited South Africa. The Queen appointed the Earl of Wessex as Lord High Commissioner to the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland for 2014. In 2015, for his contributions to projects associated with badminton, Edward was awarded the President's Medal by the Badminton World Federation President Pool Eric Heyer. In May 2016, the Earl visited Ghana. Alongside President Mahama, he presented young people with the Head of State Awards for their participation in the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award Scheme. In September 2016, Edward travelled to Chile as a part of the Duke of Edinburgh's Awards Diamond Anniversary and visited projects by British and Commonwealth Fire and Rescue Company and Chilean British Culture University, of which he is an honorary member and patron respectively. The Earl and Countess of Wessex represented the Queen at the 50th anniversary celebrations of Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah's accession to the throne of Brunei in October 2017. In February 2018, the Earl and Countess toured Sri Lanka participating in the 70th Independence Day celebrations in Colombo. In April 2018,
the Earl visited Australia to attend the XXI Commonwealth Games and attend fundraising events for those participating in the Duke of Edinburgh Award Challenges. Twenty years after its inception, the Wessex Youth Trust changed its name to the Earl and Countess of Wessex Charitable Trust, managed by the private office of the Earl and Countess of Wessex and Forfar. The Trust will continue to develop sustainable relationships with a range of selected partner charities, and will expand its remit beyond supporting children and young people. In July 2019, the Earl and Countess visited Forfar on their first official visit to the town since the Queen granted the Earl the additional title Earl of Forfar in March 2019. The Earl was presented with Earl of Forfar Tartan, which was designed by Forfar's Strathmore Woolen Company to celebrate their new titles. The weave is based on the existing Forfar Tartan, which the company designed in 2004 around the colours on the Forfar coat of arms. The geometry remains virtually the same, but the colours have been strengthened, with azure blue replaced by the St Andrew's blue of the Scottish flag, and white yarns replaced by a brown to reflect the rich agriculture of the surrounding area. In 2020, he took over the patronage of London youth from his father who had held the position for 73 years. In February 2022, Edward was appointed president of the Royal Windsor Horse Show a position previously held by his father the Duke of Edinburgh. In the following month, he visited Kenya to oversee the progress of the Duke of Edinburgh's international award in the country. In April 2022, the Earl and Countess of Wessex and Forfar toured St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Antigua and Barbuda to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Their planned visit to Granada was postponed after talks with the island's government and governor-general, and the couple expressed their hopes to visit the country on a later date. Titles, Styles, Honours and Arms Titles and Styles Before Edward's marriage in 1999, royal commentators conjectured that former royal dukedoms such as Cambridge or Sussex might be granted to him. Instead, the palace announced the intention that Prince Edward would eventually be created Duke of Edinburgh, once that title had reverted to the crown upon the death of both his parents. The title passed to his brother, Charles, when their father died in April 2021. In July 2021, the Times reported that Charles had decided not to give the title to his brother upon accession, though Clarence House stated that LL stories of this nature are speculation. No final decisions have been taken and declined to comment further. When his elder brother became Charles III, on the 2022 death of their mother, Elizabeth II, the title Duke of Edinburgh emerged in the crown, and ceased to exist. On his marriage in 1999, the prince was ennobled in keeping with tradition, however, he was the first prince since the Tudors to be created an earl rather than a duke. The Sunday Telegraph reported that he was drawn to the Earldom of Wessex after watching the 1998 film Shakespeare in Love, in which a minor character with that title is played by Colin Firth. The prince was also given the subsidiary title of Viscount Severn, which subsequently became the courtesy title of his son and heir. On March 10, 2019, on his 55th birthday, the Earl of Wessex was granted the additional title of Earl of Forfar for use in Scotland. Since then, he has at times been referred to as the Earl of Wessex and Forfar, such as at the funerals of his father and his mother. Honours February 6, 1977, Queen Elizabeth II Silver Jubilee Medal February 9, 1990, New Zealand Commemorative Medal February 6, 2002, Queen Elizabeth II Golden Jubilee Medal. May 11, 2005, Honorary Member of the Saskatchewan Order of Merit. June 7, 2005, Commemorative Medal for the Centennial of Saskatchewan. April 23, 2006, Royal Knight of the Most Noble Order of the Garter. March 10, 2011, 
Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order June 2, 2003 March 10, 2011, Knight Commander of the Royal Victorian Order. March 10, 1989 June 2, 2003, Commander of the Royal Victorian Order. February 6, 2012, Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal. October 29, 2015, Canadian Forces Decoration. February 6, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee Medal Author Commonwealth Countries October 5, 2017, Sultan of Brunei Golden Jubilee Medal. Military Appointments Honorary Military Appointments Civic Appointments Academic Appointments Arms Ancestry Filmography